Good afternoon. Hello. How are we all? Welcome to um, a little bit of a late November social media roundup. So I'm going to wait a couple of minutes and see how anyone joins me. But I'd like to quickly say happy Small Business Saturday, everybody. If you are a small business in the country, then today is a day to shout about it. Small Business Saturday is a, is a national campaign. It's about uh, encouraging people to think and shop locally. So we are one of those small businesses. And we're very proud to be a small business. And uh, yeah, I've been having a great day. We've been um, in our town celebrating, I say we, I have been celebrating with a few other local businesses in Wiltshire. Um, we've been having spot lunch, some relaxed networking, and I've been providing some free social media advice. So for me, it's not just about um, encouraging people to shop with me because I'm a small business or me shopping with other people because they're small businesses. It's about how I um, support other small businesses. So for me, that was providing some free advice. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I've done a couple of one-to-ones today. I'm also jumping into my Facebook group later on this afternoon. I'll be providing some free advice for a few of the guys in there too. So yeah, it's been a really busy month for me. And uh, yeah, I haven't collated all the news from November as much as I would have hoped but hopefully you'll forgive me for that. Hi Sue, thanks for joining. Yeah hopefully you'll uh, you'll forgive me for that and I'll um, I'll just touch upon a few a couple of things that I um, have particularly noticed and, and, and I'm kind of excited about. Starting with Facebook, so Facebook have now rolled out stories to business pages. Not only are they rolling out uh, it to Facebook pages, but they've also rolled it out to events as well. So, I um, if everyone's played with stories so far on their Instagram or their personal um, their personal Facebook, it's basically now a feature that you can use as a business page. And if you're setting up an event as a business, then you can also put real-time content, a bit like Snapchat, a bit like Instagram stories, onto those. So very exciting. You can also set up little filters, I've noticed. Big little, I say big little, bigger secret there that not I'm sure not many people have noticed. But if you set up an event via your page, you can now create special filters for people, which is very fun, very on trend. So if you can get that into your marketing when you're using Facebook to market for your business, then definitely do that. Um, stories is a feature we've been talking about all year, basically. It's not going away. It's a trend that's replicated from Snapchat, this desire to create ephemeral content, that's content that stays around for a short period of time, be it this being particularly for 24 hours. Uh, and it just opens up businesses to their customer in a much more intimate way, I guess. It's much more personal, it's more raw, it's less polished. Um, yeah, and that's what people enjoy watching and, and that's what consumers enjoy seeing. So yeah, it's a trend that Facebook noticed was, um, you know, just everybody was loving it on Snapchat, so they nicked it, put it onto Instagram. That kicked off massively, and everyone loves it on Instagram, so they rolled it into Facebook now. And they started with the profiles a couple of months ago, now it's on pages. And one thing you're not able to do yet, which a lot of people are talking about, is the ability to uh, cross post Instagram stories onto your Facebook page. So if you're using both for a business, you're able to connect the two together to tie up any advertising efforts. And there is whisper or fact that if you're in another country specifically at the moment, that isn't the UK, you can auto post your uh, Instagram story over onto your Facebook page stories. Um, but it's not here in the UK yet unless it's rolled out in the last literally couple of days. So I checked um, for a friend of mine a couple of days ago and it still wasn't there. So yeah, that's what's new on Facebook. What else? Very exciting um, update I saw and I'll share the link to this afterwards. They've now integrated, or sorry, Facebook have, have struck up a partnership with PayPal uh, to, uh, to enable um, businesses to, and individuals to take payments via PayPal through Facebook Messenger. So that's quite big actually. So if you're perhaps sharing something that you have for sale in, I don't know, let's say Facebook Marketplace, or um, just on your 
pro your normal profile, you are now able to uh, request payment for that item through PayPal there and then in your messenger. Um, yeah, once you've obviously struggled that conversation, if somebody says they're interested in buying it and you agree on the sale, you can actually request the money there and then, which is a lot safer for you and a lot safer for the buyer. So yeah, that and obviously you can begin to imagine from a small business perspective what that will allow you to do as well. Um, yeah, and if you can't imagine, then that means you can take payments for products, services, conversations that you're having um, in inside of Facebook Messenger or Facebook itself, you'll now be given the tools to be able to say, hey, if you're interested and want to buy it, here you go right now. Um, so it's a better way for getting some return on your investment and um, kind of closing a sale, I guess, closing that, that deal there and then. Um, something else that they've announced on Facebook that uh, caught my eye as well this month was the ability to see the adverts a page is running. So um, I believe this is, <clears throat> sorry, bear with me while I read Sue's comment. Sue, I use if this and that to share from Instagram, link the two together in if this then that, and then add Facebook page on the Insta post when you want to share. Yeah, sorry Sue, I must you must have um, misunderstood. So um, if this then that is, um, it's like an automated system that you can obviously it's rule defined like you said so you automatically put a picture up if you use the hashtag Facebook page it then goes on to your um, Facebook page I'm talking about um, stories so you can't there isn't a functionality in if this then that there isn't a rule yet to post from your Instagram story onto your Facebook story so you're talking about the actual wall and creating a post I was referring to the actual story section. Um, and also just to let you know, you don't actually have to use if this then that to do that. That functionality actually exists within Instagram now anyway. So as long as you've got your page linked to your Instagram account, you will be able to click share to Facebook. So, and actually it will prefer you to do that because Facebook doesn't like third party apps. So if you, um, if you automatically share it from Instagram onto Facebook rather than using an in-between site like if this and that, then it would actually prefer you to do that um, in the algorithm. So just a little tip for you there. Uh, yeah, so talking about adverts, um, yeah, going back, Facebook uh, have announced some transparency around adverts and are gonna be allowing people to um, go onto a page and see what adverts that page is running basically. I don't think it's out in the UK at the moment. Uh, I haven't seen it particularly. I think it's, I don't know if it's in test mode or not, but really interesting, I think, <clears throat> um, in terms of putting the consumer at the forefront of it. You're welcome, Sue, pleasure. Um, yeah, it's really interesting, puts the consumer at the kind of front of all of that to. Yeah, I think is, is that's just an interesting move to be able to allow the consumer or the viewer or your audience member to visit your page and see what adverts you're running in detail. Um, yeah, just kind of gives them a little bit of power, I think, in this world of marketing to see what else they're saying and also who else they're targeting and, and how their their uh, their voice and their tone and their message changes depending on their audience. So I think there's a lot to be seen on how that's going to pan out, what that means both as a business and how you can use that to your advantage. I'm sure some of you have some ideas as it is, um, but also as a user and what that means in terms of your efforts for a business, bearing that in mind. So yeah, that's one that will keep coming up, I'm sure, as we go on in, in the next couple of months. Um, Snapchat have had a redesign, a massive redesign on their app, and it's starting to introduce an algorithm, interestingly, and I think probably this time last year, I said, or certainly when I first started doing these Facebook lives, I was telling everybody to get on board with Snapchat now if your audience is there because there's no algorithm and there's no advertising. Um, and therefore, despite the fact that the audience is smaller than many of the other social media channels, you're gonna have your messages seen by a lot more people in comparison when you look at the ratios. 
So the day has come, obviously, that that we know Snapchat now accepts advertising on the platform and um, you can pay to, to run filters, etc. But they've now introduced an algorithm that um, separates content from um, media and your friends. And it's going to separate it out into two different feeds. And I would imagine that will lead into the friend section um, being filtered rather than chronologically but um, into um, who they think you're most likely to engage with, so who you've, who you've looked at in the past, etc. So yeah, that's a big redesign, so log out, update your Snapchat, check it out, let me know what you think. Um, something caught my eye with Pinterest this month, and that was a secret Santa function. So if you haven't seen this, Google it, I'll share a link anyway. But um, this, this new secret Santa function allows you to find friends and family on Pinterest, and then Pinterest will use its API, its coding, the way it works, to formulate a list of interests of that individual and share it with you. So basically show you what they've been looking at or pinning on Pinterest. So that then you can buy gifts and presents that they actually like, that they've been looking for, which I think is just lovely, a really lovely idea. And it works, um, if, you don't, if you don't have friends and family on Pinterest, it can actually work in a similar way to you giving Pinterest a persona and telling them, okay, you're buying for your sister, this is what they're interested in, and you know, this is what their um, what their interests are, what they have their shopping, their buying habits, that's such of their age. And then Pinterest will formulate a list of products and send it to you for your secret Santa, which yeah, that really caught my eye. So I like that. I wanted to share that with you. Instagram updates, let's get on to those. A uh, biggest thing I've seen that um, they are going to be testing a repost button natively within the platform, which is pretty cool. So with Twitter, we have retweets. With Facebook, we have shares. On Instagram, it's called a regram, which is when you take somebody else's content and share it onto your profile. Up until now, you've had to use third party apps to do this. Um, I use the repost app, um, preferably using. Um, approved social media approved third-party apps by Instagram but they recognize the popularity of this function so they are testing a native repost button which would be really great for uh, businesses that run regular campaigns competitions have their own uh, branded hashtag to um, to source user-generated content so having a repost button will allow you to then share those people's content onto your own feed and legally um, credit them for their content. So that's good. They're also testing an archive button for stories so that after you, you don't have to lose your story forever in a day, once it's there, you can actually archive it into your own private folder and keep hold of the content that you're creating. And you're now able to view stories on desktop, which is interesting because um, stories is really a function that's primarily mobile driven um, and Instagram has always been a mobile first app and whilst uh, it's made sort of slight changes this year with some accessibility on desktop I didn't I didn't expect them to to bring in stories on that but yeah that's now available to view on desktop so that's pretty cool and um, that's the main things I've picked up. I could have missed stuff of Instagram this month. I said I've been really busy. If I there's anything that you think is worth sharing, if there's anything you think is worth sharing, drop them in the comments because I'd love to hear. Lastly, before I go, a couple of updates on Twitter. As we all know, the as we all know, maybe we don't know, 280 character limit now on Twitter. So that's doubled in length. It was being tested a couple of months back, and I said. It's funny actually because um, I talked about it on my um, monthly live uh, either last month or the month before and I had somebody come up to me um, at an event and said oh, oh I saw your, your 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 Facebook live your social media update just to let you know though that that 200 and so sorry we start again um, during one of my Facebook lives a couple of months ago I mentioned the fact that the 280 characters was being trialed and rolled out to everybody. I was then um, stopped at an event where somebody said they'd seen me like, go live, they'd heard what I'd said, and just to let me know that um, it's not been rolled out to everybody and not everybody has it. 
And I said, oh, well, I'm, I'm pretty certain it's coming. If they've, you know, I, I manage X amount of Twitter accounts and um, they've all got this 280 character limit. So I'm sure it's coming to everybody. And lo and behold, it's here. Let me know. What do you guys think about that? What do you think of this 280 character limit? I'm used, to, I'm used to writing 140 characters. So for me, it's not been a massive, um, you know, it wasn't a massive want for me. If anything, like every, like many others, an edit button wouldn't go amiss. But um, yeah, I am finding myself typing in longer form though. Um, I, am, I do find myself pushing the boundaries and, and using up that 280 characters. So perhaps it's a good thing after all. Uh, but it'd be good to monitor actually the engagement rates between using 140 and 280. So yeah, 280 characters, let me know if you guys are preferring it, loving it, hating it. That'd be good. And also, some of you may well remember back in the summer now probably, I mentioned that Twitter was trialling a, um, a kind of self-serve easy op easy advertising option on the platform it was a monthly fee of $99 and it was um, you would simply sign up pay the money and Twitter would decide what tweets to promote into whose timeline based on your industry and the content that you're creating so it would do all the work for you basically well that was in beta stage beta testing and it was being tried with a very few select few people um, but now it's been been rolled out across the board. So $99 for Twitter advertising a month and uh, It does all the work for you in deciding who should be seeing that who should see those posts and who's who your post is going to matter to the most so I Might give it a try I might not I'll let you know if I do if anyone else here fancies giving that a go Let me know how you get on Cool guys. That is it for me today. It's a bit shorter than usual. I know I'm sure I've missed loads. I'll be more on the ball next month, but um, I still came. I still came and I showed up and I'm live. And thank you for those who have watched at real time. For anybody who watches on the replay, welcome and thank you for watching. Don't forget to share with this, share this with any of your friends that you think would benefit from being up to date with the world of social media. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing you next month. So end of the month, I will try and book in a date, I think, now and see when we can do it. Hope you all have a fantastic month. I will speak to you soon anyway across various social channels as I do. And yeah, I will uh, be in touch. Have a wonderful weekend. And again, for all the small businesses out there, happy Small Business Saturday. Have a wonderful time. You deserve it. Bye.